I got a request, can you explain an infinite power tower? The idea is, is that this root two will be to the power of root two, which is to the power of root two, to the power of root two, to the power of root two, and so on. One interesting trick with power towers is that they're supposed to work from the top down. So you can't even do something like this and then do that to the power of two and do that to the power of two. It doesn't work that way. We actually need to start from the very top. And how are we gonna start at the very top? We can't do that. We can't start at the end of something infinite. Even though we're not supposed to go this way, we can still kind of see what it approaches by doing that method. So if we have the square root of two, that's approximately equal to 1.4142. Square root of two to the square root of two is 1.6325. And the square root of two to the square root of two to the square root of two, that'd be 1.7608 and so on. They start to slow down as they approach two. Or this one right here is approximately 1.9763. So we can see that as we continue adding more of these, it's approaching two. But there is a way to calculate that it is exactly two. So first let's assign the whole thing x. So now x is is the value of our infinite power tower. So next I'm going to rewrite it like this and this ties into what I was saying earlier. We need to calculate from the top down. So I'm grouping all of this stuff to do first. Now if we look up here x is a square root of 2 going on forever but that's what this is inside here. So I can replace this inside here with an x and you can see this changes into x equals square root of 2 to the x. Right now I have an x on both sides. My goal is to get all the x's onto one side so I'm going to exponentiate both sides to the power of 1 over x. Now these two exponents need to multiply. So x times 1 over x is just 1. So this is going to simplify into this. These two things cancel. So it's just a 1 right there. So this is a fractional exponent. We can also rewrite a square root as a fractional exponent. This is the same thing as 2 to the 1 half. And this is also kind of fun. Everywhere where I have a blue circle matches the blue circles on this side. If we made x equal to 2, that would make both these sides the same thing. Because x to the 1 over x would then be 2 to the 1 over 2. So we can conclude that x equals 2. And this is how to solve this infinite power tower. Comment on what you'd like me to solve for next. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.